Tom701 here, and today we're going to talk about some First Doctor. And on this face-off, my question was, what is the best First Doctor Dalek story? And of course, we were looking at the Daleks, the Dalek Invasion of Earth, the Chase, and da the Daleks Master Plan, which I have seen recently. <clears throat> so I was curious which one would win this. I wasn't sure. I kind of figured Master Plan would have the edge. Everyone seems to love that one. But I was pleasantly surprised because the Dalek Invasion of Earth won with 40% of the vote. Dalek's Master Plan had second place with 35% of the vote. The Daleks had third place with 15% of the votes. And the Chase did manage to get 10% of the votes. Uh, I actually agree with the vote here. My favorite first Doctor Dalek story, having seen all four of them now, is the Dalek Invasion of Earth. I love the location work. I like the story for the most part. The ending's a little too easy in my opinion, but I like the guest cast. I like the scenery. I like the set design. And I love the goodbye with Susan at the end. And I love the concept of the Robo-Men, which is a nice kind of precursor to the Cybermen. Um, I've talked about Dalek Invasion of Earth several times. I won't go into detail about that here. But that would have been my choice as well. And it was nice to see that the vote agreed with me on that. Let's see what everybody had to say down in the comments. Normally Normal, which is a cool name. I have something on my glasses here. It says, Master Plan, Chase, Invasion, Daleks for me. Even though Master Plan is mostly missing, it's incredible. Even the audio alone is great. Tardis Spider, a fellow Hootuber and one of my YouTube members, says, I enjoy all of the serial type stories of the First Doctor. Steven says, I think Daleks Master Plan is hands down the best, although it is uncharacteristically grim for the First Doctor's era. Like much of early Season 3, it almost feels like a Season 22 story, and going from the chase to this is like getting whiplash. <laughs> Tedious Milkshake says, I've only seen the first four episodes of Master Plans from Ian Levine's new recon, but that alone has convinced me that this is better than the other three options on the list. I think you should see the whole story before you judge that, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. He's probably watched the rest of them by now, so I hope he's enjoying it. Richard English says, has to be the Daleks' invasion of Earth. It may not be the best Hartnell story, but it's the most important as it cements the show's long-standing preoccupation with the, extraordinary, with the extraordinary intruding on the everyday. JLB Who, who is also one of my patrons, says, The Chase. It's the most fun and crazy. Security Division says, Master Plan is the GOAT. Uh, Philip says, The Daleks. With the scripts produced before Ray Kusick produced his iconic designs. This is the only time the Daleks were written as people trapped in metal casings. <coughs> they have individual personalities. They need food and are capable of producing it. They have a culture, art in particular, sculpture. They're trying to find a cure for their condition and a way out of their life-supporting travel machines. 90% of that goes out the window as quickly as their second story. Some of their individual individuality remains but we lose all of the nuance and they become the Daleks conquer and destroy ciphers we all know and love. Even Genesis of the Daleks fails to restore that nuance. We get to see what the Kalids are like, but the Daleks are little more than robots in that story. So for me, although the other three stories have arguably better plots, there's nothing quite like the first one. Seeing that dead, blasted world with its calcified vegetation and strange metal animals <clears throat> for the first time, meeting the two intelligent races that live there. It's that world building that makes the Daleks stand above the later stories for me. Well said. DWFan91, who is also a fellow YouTuber and puts out some amazing looking YouTube videos. I love the professionality of his YouTube videos. They're edited together very well. Uh, I, he says, I hope the people voting have actually seen the episodes before clicking. That's fair. And I personally waited until I did this poll until after I had watched Master Plan. That way I could have seen all four of them before I did it. I purposely did that. Uh, Dom, it's always good to see Dom back by. Dom says, surprise the Daleks isn't more popular here. I love all of these stories in fairness, but I think there's something to that original story the rest can't quite compete with. The storyline of the Daleks, their new planet, their mutations, and how they tie into the obvious group they're based on. In general, I much prefer the Daleks when they're characterized as these creepy, not totally inhuman, but utterly vile murderers. You get a lot more of that early on uh, than later on. Power of the Daleks does that well, too, though. Uh, that's what he says here, which I agree. Also, the Daleks has Ian and Barbara, which is a reason enough to rank it first. That's fair. <clears throat> the Fly Attractor, another one of my patrons, says, I love them, but I gotta go with Invasion. Uh, although Daleks Master Plan might top it, I think it would be a... 
I think it would really be a big mix of all the good and bad parts of Invasion and the Chase. It really just kind of mixes the two. Lots of planet hopping with mixes of pointless parts and probably not always in the humor set in the setting humor. Still love the Target books though. He does love the Target books and they are great reads. Simon Mincher, another one of my patrons, says Dalek's Master Plan, but that's based on the version the version available on audio CD. Twelve part epic, so it must be the best. Uh, Bobby Frackle, who I know from the Doctor Who merchandise forums, says Daleks all day. Invasion is a worthy sequel, Chase is dreadful, and Master Plan is a better version of it. Shamrock Particle, who's one of my YouTube members and always down in the comments, it's always good to see Shamrock, says Master Plan, Daleks, Invasion Earth, Chase. Chase has a more interesting core of ideas than Invasion, but it becomes a, but it becomes a farce putting it at the bottom. And then Cyber Slammer says, considering that the majority of Dalek's Master Plan is missing, how can you really judge it? Fair. And, well, I guess you can judge it as best it best you can. And I added in here, you could read you know read the novel. It says I know all of the stories very well. I just think this is an overdrawn out rambling load of nonsense. Too much tedious padding. Novels also use the imagination. When you look at the televised version of many novelized episodes, you realize how poorly realized they are. The Daleks, by far, is the best written story. Uh, and Matt says recons were available for lost episodes. Not as good as real ones, but you can still watch it that way. And then I added, I admit, Dalek's Master Plan does start to drag for me, having just seen it for the first time, but I did watch it over a two-day period, which might have been too quickly. And Cyber Slammer added, yes, I would only ever watch one episode of Doctor Who a day. It was always meant to be seen weekly. So when people binge watch Doctor Who from the olden days, it's not how it was meant to be seen. And that's very accurate. I had to actually hark that comment. I hadn't noticed it before. But that's very true. That's very, very true. That is something that's interesting to go back, uh, especially for younger people going back, watching classic Doctor Who. Because uh, since you can binge it now, that's not really the way it was intended to be watched. It was supposed to be watched with gaps in between of course one episode weekly then i wouldn't do that now but you know i still understand spacing out the episode even if it's just an hour between episodes or a day between episodes uh i think gives you more of the impact for what the episodes were originally going for trying to marathon through a six or seven parter can be tricky it can be done i can watch all seven parts of inferno in one go easy i love inferno but most of the six or seven parters, I'm going to need a breather in there somewhere because that can get a little, especially since some of the episodes have those long reprisals at the beginning. That can get a little tedious and can be to the detriment of your enjoyment of the serial, in my opinion. So, <clears throat> Dalek's Master Plan coming in second place, surprisingly. The Dalek's Invasion of Earth winning this poll with 40% of the vote. Dalek's Master Plan right behind it with 35% of the vote. The Daleks getting 15% and the Chase getting 10% of the vote. I want to know what you think. If you didn't get a chance to vote in this poll, comment down below and let me know your thoughts and we'll talk about it. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button as well. I also have a Patreon if you like what I do and want to support what I do. There is a link to that down there as well. Several different tiers there to choose from. I also have a P.O. box if there's anything you'd like to send me to look at and review, and a link to my Amazon wish list is down there as well, and a link to my Amazon UK wish list is down there as well. I want to give a shout out to Colin Coney and Finn Perkins, two of my top tier patrons. I appreciate their support, as I do the support of all of my patrons. It's much appreciated. And most importantly, thank you for watching.